Okay, so I'm out here where the colony typically would be. Um, for those of you who do not know, uh, the colony is no longer, um, but I thought I'd give you a little walk through. Um, we're inside the shack. Um, we still have Eric and Oreo and Elvis, <clears throat> but uh, you know, you can tell rabbits used to be on the ground in here. There's a hole there. Uh, that was a hole. Um, let's walk over here. Um, the day that we discovered um, something came in, um, Hero was sitting um, just right there next to the barrel. Um, she was just sitting there, scared, and Alice was kind of creeping around, staying a little bit hidden. Um, they loved all these leaves. This all came from my garden. I collected from the fall, and uh, I cleaned out. So I'm going to take you where um, the predator, um, whatever it was, uh, came in. Um, we have closed up the hole, um, but you can still see on the other side, um, you can see there's still some of um, Blue's fur, and there's the, the entry. Um, there's still no sign of her or Worf, uh, so I 100% um, believe they're gone and no longer living. <sighs> Hopefully whatever got them got a nasty belly ache. I mean, <laughs> just saying. Um, since then we did have a trap there in the hole um, and we trapped a fairly large skunk and he's been dealt with, he's gone. Um, but um, sadly, the day before, actually the night before, we had discovered that Blue, um, she had spent several days, nearly a week, going over there into the chicken pen. And um, we discovered inside the coop that she had delivered a litter of seven. And sadly because chicken coops are not clean, they're very filthy, gross um, they did not survive um, over here this is their hole uh, going into the den that they had uh, they had two entrances Walk around here sorry it's taken so long to do this guys it's just been really tough to be out here um, and over here is where we believe um, Blue was grabbed and taken, uh, possibly Wharf as well. Um, there was uh, the end of Wharf's tail still over here. I don't know where it went, but it's not here now. Um, so it's just sad. Like I said, it's been really tough to be out here. I mean, truly, truly tough. Very upsetting. So, anyway, um, we have yet to find out what it was. We may never know. Um, but, um, here is still here. And Ellis got a new home. She went to be with a meat breeder. Uh, it wasn't difficult to find her home. We found her home within about two days. So that was good. Uh, let's go um, visit with Hero for a little bit. Um, she's had some time to get over the situation. I don't know for a fact that she's ever going to be over it. Um, she still isn't herself. So let's go say hello to Hero. 
I apologize, it is really windy, so. Okay. Here she is. Hi, Hero. Can we visit today? Hmm? She's crying. Jake, you better not spray me. Keep your tail down. <laughs> he had his butt towards me with his tail up. But she's, as you can see, she's unharmed. Um, but whatever took the other two did try and grab her. Um, she had um, blood on her dewlop um, and blood across her paws and <sighs> several other places. So um, thankfully, she's still with us um, this is pretty much what she does all day she just stays curled up in a ball and nearly can't touch her she just cries uh, it's sad it really is Let's see if I can get in here I'll try and pet her hi honey you remember right um, when she was in the colony, she would come up to me and love to be rubbed on. And right now, she's, since the incident, she just, I don't know, she's just scared. I know, I need to clean this cage. I didn't have a chance to clean it before you had to come in here. Yeah. She's, she's skinny. I'm putting, me, you know, weight back on her. But I can feel her, her backbone. You can see my fingers going across her, her backbone. She's, she was underweight out there. I think she may, must have been getting ran off from the food or something. I don't know. But she's, she don't eat a whole lot. But anywho, so there we go. Anyway. That is it. Um, I don't know if we will have a colony again. I really don't. Right now, I, I really don't feel comfortable having the rabbits out there. Um, so, I'm not sure that it will ever happen. But, maybe one day. For hero's sake, we can have a colony again. Uh, it'll be a better setup. Uh, probably its own isolated setup with a cover over the top. Um, so, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Links to my Facebook page and my website are in the description box below. And uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.